Hi everyone, welcome to Nate's Studio Desk. Someone asked me how to add a structure to any surface using Grasshopper. So first I'm going to show a really easy way to add pipes along any surface, and then going over adding any custom profile you want along that surface. This is a really simple and straightforward script. Even if you've never opened Grasshopper, you will be able to do this. The way that I like to teach and use Grasshopper is very intuitive and straightforward. A lot of tutorials overcomplicate the tool and try to do too much with the software. Believe me, this is a waste of time. There are ways you can use Grasshopper without overcomplicating it, and it actually becomes a much more effective tool when you can use it in this way. Please let me know if you have other tutorials you would like to see, and of course, subscribe to this channel uh, if you'd like to see more content. All right, so let's get started. We can start off by making a surface. I'll, for now, I'll just do that by typing in rectangle and then coming in here and saying planar surface. I'm gonna select the surface and then hit rebuild. This basically generates uh, more UV points that you can reference and depending on how much you wanna manipulate the surface, you can adjust that or adjust the amount of points. So here I'll type in points on and then I can come here and adjust the surface. To get this, this surface into Grasshopper, you basically select the surface here and hit set one surface, set one surface. Oh, I need to turn this on here. And then now the surface is linked um, to your Rhino surface. For the purposes of this tutorial, I already set the surface um, here. We'll turn it off. And here we can manipulate the surface however we like, and it will update uh, whatever custom profile or pipes that we give. That's um, what's really exciting about this script. So basically we start with the surface, set it to one surface, then we use this command, which is uh, divide surfaces. Here, I'll move over a little bit. So that's divide surfaces. And what this does is determine the UV points on that surface. And so here we determine uh, let's turn it on. Let's turn the visibility on so we can see this. And so that adjusts how many um, rows you want depending on what you are trying to do. Uh, and then this adjusts the um, resolution along those curves. All right, so what's really cool about the divide surface is it gives you a number of information to work with. Grasshopper is all about data and how to manage that data. So here, basically, we have our list of points. And then we also get out of this all the normals of those points. So basically, the normal really just means perpendicular to the surface at where that point is in the surface. We're going to type in, this is interpolate curve. And that basically takes every single one of those points and makes a curve for you based on those points. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if I want my curves in a different direction. And like I said, Grasshopper is all about data um, and there is a whole list of things you can do to manipulate that data. For this, we can use flip matrix. Now this is really cool. Uh, it's basically uh, reorganizing how the, um, th the data is being read. Um, it's basically how the list is being read. So here we can come in and it actually changes the orientation um, because it's reading those lists in a, in a different way, basically flips it. We can get into that in another tutorial, but for right now, this is really all you need to know uh, that it's uh, interpolating these points. You have the curves along the points. Now, let's say you just want pipes. You don't wanna do a custom shape. You can come in here and just press pipes and boom, no matter what, you can come in here, manipulate. I need to press points in and manipulate these and automatically, um, no matter what, all your um, pipes are going to go along those curves. So, and then you can of course adjust the, the radius. So now you're probably thinking, well, that's awesome. That's so cool. I can get pipes, I can get structure along my surface, but let's say I want I-beams or if I want some custom profile um, along that surface, what do I do? So now we are going to go over, so that's just the pipe command, by the way. Um, now we're gonna go over to what I call the bulletproof custom profile uh, script here. 
uh, and I am gonna uh, add the script below in the description, so do look for that. The reason why this makes this bulletproof, and again, we're not gonna get into data for this tutorial because we're really keeping this as straightforward as possible, um, is graph tree. Um, it basically is gonna make sure that uh, the data doesn't get weird. Um, weird things can happen with custom profile, um, and this ensures that it doesn't. Also by click, clicking reparameterize. Those are two things that are gonna make this a little bit more bulletproof as far as um, our custom profile goes. So here we have graph tree, then we just bring it into the curve command. Uh, and then we have this awesome tool called prep frames. This is where it starts to get a little bit, uh, I would say less intuitive, um, but basically you, you establish the plane which is this, this is sort of your, your base plane that you're working off of. Um, and you can move and manipulate that depending on what you're doing. We're not gonna get into that right now. This, is, this number is actually determining where it's lying and we're saying it's gonna lie on that first point and that's why it's um, lying in there. Um, and so then what we're gonna say, we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna put in orient. So what Orient does is it's going to take a base frame, and this is what I love about Grasshopper. It tells you everything that it wants and needs in order for it to be successful. So here it says first plane. So we're going to take our, our base plane and put it into the first plane. It wants geometry. That's basically our curve. So it's going to take that. And then it's also going to want the initial um, source plane, which is basically what point is it going to reference based on the geometry that you give it. Um, This basically allows you, you don't technically need this rotate, but sometimes you get into the situation where um, you need to custom rotate your, um, your profiles, depending on what you're doing. Uh, this, this allows you to have that flexibility. Um, you can also just go back and rotate your custom geometry. Um, but for instance, I could just come up here um, and put that in as well, and it would, it would work fine. Um, but we're just going to keep that here for right now. It's also taking in that 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 ba that base plane. So basically, we have the orient, and then we have the rotate in case you need to rotate your geometry. Then, so um, yeah, and then you have then this brings it into the sweep command, and the sweep command basically works pretty straightforward, just like in Grasshopper. It's going to take your rail. And so that's where we're going to take our curves and we're going to bring it into the rail. Um, and then these are basically the sections and we're going to bring the geometry into the section. So if we go to the top view here, you can create any geometry you'd like. So uh, how about let's create, um, let's just do a polyline and you can create whatever funky thing you need. Um, and then we're going to press in point and hit point. And just so we maintain this, I'll just keep this along here. I'll go select, set one point, set one point. And I did turn this off, so I'm just going to turn this on so I know that I'm referencing it. Set one curve, sets one curve. Um, and then, yeah, let's just plug it into this geometry. Again, here is that angle in case you need to rotate the geometry. Uh, and then we're going to sweep it along our profile. So let's see what we what craziness we did. Um, so that basically extruded that cur the profile along that curve. Um, here, let's hide this because it's making it a little bit harder to see. Um, all right, and then we can go here, we can go to bake. I typically like to group it together, um, just makes it a little bit easier. And then you can see that, um, let's just go to render view, turn this off for just a second, um, our crazy profile that we created. Pretty cool. And, uh, you know, that really just took like, a couple minutes to, to figure out how to do and, and here we have a custom profile and you can go back and you can manipulate this shape any way that you want and it will update or not update let's see 
Oh, it's because I baked it. So <laughs> it's like, why is it not working? Okay, there we go. Uh, and then if you need to cap it, um, that basically makes it solid and whole. Uh, you can just go in here and do cap holes. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. I'd be happy to show you more tutorials. This was a very straightforward and simple way to uh, make custom profiles and structure uh, along any surface you'd like. Thank you. Have a good day.